creatures called monsters. All right, I'm ready. Diverse untouched biomes, traces of ancient culture, and the mysterious monsters. <laughs> a more powerful, sorry, a more, as more people were drawn to the enigmas of the island, the United Governments formed a commission to study it. But then one day, I think the English translation's a little off, guys. The dragon Volzerk engaged the beast Magna in battle. None could have foreseen the outcome of this conflict. Welcome to Volzerk, by the way, a game that you guys have asked me to check out. Uh, I didn't want to check it out until it was in English. Apparently, this English translation is supposed to be, you know, decent enough. So I'm excited to check it out. The game looks good. Uh, it is free to play. So I am a little bit skeptical about the monetization, but let's see how it plays. Uh, I'm going to try controller. We'll see how that goes. This, I got to say, the game looks pretty damn good. All right. A lot of people are saying this is like Genshin Impact meets Pokemon meets Monster Hunter Stories. I've never played Genshin, so I don't really have an opinion there, but looks pretty damn good, man. We got this Dark Souls boss just trying to give us hell, eh? We got our Rathalos here. <laughs> I spy a cute monster. Where are you going? Voluzurko! <laughs> it's really him. Wow, he's so cool. What's going on? I'd better go check it out. All right. This game actually looks pretty damn good, man. I'm not even... I, I, damn. I want to check out some of the... Uh, oh, it doesn't look like there's a pause. Is there no pause button? Okay, if there's a pause button, we don't have access to it. I was just wor a little bit worried about uh, how it's going to record on my PC. <laughs> my PC's not that powerful. <laughs> Eater. Oh, this is really giving Monster Hunter stories vibes. Is she Volzerk now? Oh, did Volzerk get split up into pieces and she has one of them? We're going to go find the Dragon Balls. Is that what's going on here? We're going to find the Dragon Balls, boys. Who's the others? You were walking alone. Who's letting their eight-year-old kid walk alone in the forest, though? The light he released. It was all a big mystery, but that day I swore. Oh, let me guess she's older now. That one day I would be able to see Volzerk again. Volzerk, monsters and lands unknown. By the way, let me know in the comments, guys. Obviously, it's going to depend on whether or not I actually enjoy the game. But if the game's fun and I really like it and you guys like it, let me know if you want me to do more episodes of this. I know we're running Digimon World Next Order. Uh, we would just do them both simultaneously. We usually run two Let's Plays anyway, depending on what's going on, so... Yeah, just let me know. Ten years after Magna and Volzerk vanished. Okay, so what am I, like, 18 now? I see an arrow. And then, guess what? Flame Fenrir sweat a ton when they sleep. Whoa. Oh, I bet you want to know why, right? 
Well, that's easy because it breathes fire. They all get superheated from the hot oil that's inside them. I mean, the English translation is not terrible. That's why when they're fast asleep and relaxed, they sweat buckets and buckets of sweat. Isn't that adorable? Adorable? And when I say buckets, I mean like 10 liters. So there's more than enough. To take a bath and- Ew, what the hell? Monster lover Fina. She's messed up, bro. Wow. I guess you could say you really like monsters, huh? Of course, I absolutely love them. I see. Is that a monster? I, I'm digging Drago. Whoa, it's a Drago. Hey, stop. You might get hurt. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Starting today, I'm a member of the Research Commission. Now, come on. All right. How do I fight? <laughs> so this is like... um. Oh, never mind. Jesus Christ, she's over-designed. <laughs> she's taking forever. Ecology research team, Liz. Lies? Liz? Just how long does she think I can wait? Knowing her, she probably got sidetracked chasing some monster. Oh, Lizzie, perfect timing. What's the matter? We've got uh, trouble. It's about Fina. Who's this big boy? Why is it her butt? What is going <laughs> Wait, it's already eating her? Fina, are you all right? A, a one and a two and a three. Did I just accidentally stumble into some fetish game? What is this game? Aren't you being attacked? Huh? No, we're just playing. Turns out he's a hungry little fella. This is nothing. Dragos don't have a very strong bite. And besides, the inside of their mouths are so squishy and great. This is, this is messed up. More importantly, if you're okay, then it's time to go. Aw, oh, come on. I want to cuddle with this fellow some more. Yeah, you want to do some more crap with I me. Mean, you're one of those freaking weirdos. We have some things to do besides I don't think it's trying to cuddle. I'm sure the Drago was only trying to digest you. Well, duh, everybody knows that's how monsters are wired, but it feels kind of sad just to say goodbye here. The fact that it was gnawing on me means we have a bond. Let my love be with you. Pairing. And just like that, we tamed it. We tamed it so she can play out her sick fantasies with it. Looks like it worked. What the heck is going on? It's a sword goblin. Then let me handle it. Drago here seems to like, looks like he he's up for brawl. I thought he's hungry. All right, let's eat them, bro. All right, let's do this, buddy. Come on. Watch, some tentacle monster is going to attack us. Left stick for controller, WASD for movement. Thanks. Thanks, loading screen. Okay. Use the left joystick on your controller to move around. By pr by attacking by pressing the X button or your controller's uh, on your controller, a successful attack will charge your SP gauge. Why why is this guy so big? Why are these goblins so big, bro? Oh, cool! I can like dodge. I can dodge. Oh, this Dark Souls, son. Every game is Dark Souls. All right, we win. I, I don't know what my SP did, though. <laughs> what did my SP gauge do? What do you mean it ran off? There were multiple. Okay, this girl's weird, bro. I gave up already. Besides, isn't there something else you should do right now? What do you mean? Like finding a bolder way of communicating. Your research commission. 
Nothing's worse than being late on your first day. She finally remembers. Master Wendy is waiting. Are there any males in this game or is it just a waifu simulator? <laughs> My duties at base are important and I respect Wendy. But to me, kissing a drago matters just as much. She's weird, bro. Some weird shit going on in this game. <laughs> the game looks good, though. <laughs> you can tell me this doesn't look good. I like the little dodging mechanic. It's kind of cool. Although I, I, I do, I would have preferred like a, a roll dodge instead of like this weird little dash, but. Also not complaining. It's also nice to have something like real-time combat related. I know it's not like... Wait, am I am I even able to get off the monster? What am I doing? Wait. Oh, there's like a... Okay. Move back. You guys can't even touch me, bro. I'm too strong for this game. Oh, I think they have types, too. Like, this one looks like it's a normal type. Perhaps. Is that what the little icons are? Okay, let, let, let's go to where we're supposed to go. How's that sound? Is there a way to go faster? Doesn't look like it. No, I tried pressing every button. Alright, what kind of weird stuff's gonna happen now? The combat seems very simplistic, but hey, I'll take it. <clears throat> this is definitely one of the better looking monster taming games, especially considering the genre's got a lot of uh, indie devs, and like, when you look at pixel art versus 3D, I love pixel art. So like, I, I but I don't like comparing it to 3D, but in terms of the 3D monster taming games, this is definitely one of the better looking ones. I'm not sure how big the studio is that made it, but it definitely looks good. <clears throat> without this weird fetishy stuff that they got going on. I don't know what this is, but there's all kinds of different monsters here, so I'm trying to take in all the different... Yeah, the scents. You're a weirdo. Huh, something smells a little different from last time I was here. Do we have some new arrivals? What kind of monster did you take in? Uh, I think it might be a Ventus. I've only seen one of those when I was really little. Where is it? Where is it? I want to see it right now. Yo, that's dope. Do you know the meaning of leaves uh, on the arms and body? No. They wrap them there for protection since they're always fighting. Kind of careful for a critter that looks so wild. Wait, don't rush me. Stop right there, Ventus. Are there any male characters in this game? <laughs> Are you two all right? Yeah, I'm fine. And you, Fina? Hey, Wendy, guess what? Ventus have a grip strength of around 800 kilograms. If I were crushed by that much force right now, I, I would honestly be very thrilled. What? I'm sorry if I interfered then. I want to know everything there is to know about this fella. Tell me. Where did it come from and why are we keeping it here? It was separated. We're caring for it. Got upset. Okay, there are more and more monsters like him that have nowhere to go. You know the reason for this uh, better than anyone, Fina.
I don't get it. It all started when Volzerk disappeared. Yes, the vanishing of Volzerk, who reigned supreme on the island, it broke the ecosystem and left monsters on the brink of extinction. That was 10 years ago, right? Yes, and we still have yet to find a means of reversing the situation. That's also precisely why we have such high hopes for you, Fina. Why me? Because you were the one you were there when Volzerk vanished. We feel that you might be able to solve this somehow. Really? She seems like just another monster maniac. That's not true. I'm a mega monster maniac, whatever. <laughs> So I want to see him healthy and happy. Then I can pet him. You're weird. Now let me... Uh, okay. I need to ready a few things. Can you uh, wait by the quest board? Okay. No, just stay... Just stay by the... Wait. Stay be the board and leave the monsters alone. All right, things are happening. <clears throat> this is the main base, also known as home. Tap start uh, menu screen where you can perform a number of actions. What am I reading? Oh, okay. Sorry to keep you. Let's head to my room. Okay. Oh, I got a sign. If I'm going to give you a signature. It better be an awesome one. All we need is verification that you read the agreement, so I'll, I'll leave the name up to you. Oh, I can change my name? Okay. Uh, I don't want to name my male character Ed. That's weird. I guess I'll just name it... What's her name? Fina? Just keep the name the same, I guess. Thanks, now you're an official member. I should have named it Barry Bandit. Damn it. Okay, chapter two, Lovey Dovey. Why has it got to be weird, bro? What's going on? How about I quiz you? <laughs> Question one, what was the purpose for the research commission? Um, to love and hug and kiss all the adorable monsters. Wrong. To conduct research on fauna and natural environment and its history with a focus studying on conserving the creatures referred to as monsters. Why are they called, why are they like monsters? What a, what a crazy name. Our job is to uncover the island's mysteries while protecting the monsters through breeding and habitat preservation. I see, and by caring for them, you mean loving and hugging and kissing them, too. Ugh. Our research commission is made up of various teams. We have our medical team, our environmental research team, and our ecology team. Which team will I be on? You'll be on research team one. All the research commission are called rangers. Teams are made up of multiple rangers, and the leader of a team is called a master. And then uh, you have the overall leader, the Grandmaster. Okay, so they do have some English errors here, like and them. Uh, you mean and then. Not a big deal, whatever. It's, it's fine. Well, that should cover the basics of the Research Commission. Next, let's review the monster basics, shall we? Now we're talking. So question two, what are the names of the three classifications of the monsters? Piece of cake. First, there's Momons, which are parable and can be mounted. Then you have the small-bodied Minimons, which are excellent supporters. Lastly, there's a hazard species, said to be ferocious and wary of humans. Now for question three, what exactly is pairing? Um, it's a mysterious power only some people are capable of wielding. It's like matchmaking power, and you can use it on you and the monster. It's 
Go outside and put this knowledge into practice. All right, tutorial time or whatever. <laughs> Again, the game, the dialogue's a little weird, and there's this game definitely seems to be waifu bait, but I, I still, man, the game looks pretty cool. <laughs> it looks pretty good. It does have mixed reviews on Steam, but a lot of the reviews are that, like, it's not available in someone's region, or it wasn't translated to English yet. So, like, the reviews are a little bit, um, you can't really go by the reviews, that's why, like, I'm going into it with an open mind, regardless of, like, the negative reviews, because the ones, from what I've read, a lot of them are just people saying that they can't play it. Um, and a lot of them are before the English translation released. But yeah, this is free-to-play on Steam. That's another thing, too. With free-to-play stuff, you end up with a lot of, like, really annoying people. Um, <laughs> that, like... I don't know what it is about free-to-play games. Maybe it's just because more people are, are able to play them because they're free. But, like, th there's way more entitlement when it comes to free-to-play games, which is weird. Like, you should feel more entitled when you've actually paid for something. What is this? New Momon detected. Hey, look, it's a Quan. They've got a strong attack. Okay. Okay, let me, let me kill these guys first. But yeah, like with the Coromon, like the Coromon mobile situation, right? Like a lot of those people who are really like, um, like kind of toxic about it. They're the ones that like don't expect to pay for Coromon when it comes out. You can't lock on anything, eh? Oh, oh. What do you, oh God. What are you gonna do, bro? You're not strong. The game lied. Oh, that you can lock on. Okay. The game lied. You're weak. What's up, bud? After defeating a Momon, you'll receive a pairing chance. If, if successful, it'll become a new uh, ally. Pairing successor. Okay. Pair. Pairing success. Hey, he got smaller. It's like that meme, like, when when you fight the boss, boss versus when you actually, like, uh, obtain it or whatever. Let's check out his info. Okay. Okay, so each monster has a skill and a hold skill. So nothing super, like, complex. Where does he go? I also wonder if I'm going to be able to, like, upgrade my, my human's weapons, too. Oh, level up, level up, let's go. Looks like you got a paring down pat. Damn right. Heh. <laughs> Monsters are a hierarchical creature, so first you need to battle the monster to demonstrate your strength. Yep, they're too cute having to flex their muscles before they accept one another. Now for four. Why do monsters end up smaller after pairing? Oh, they have an in-game reason for this. Because it's easier to squeeze and smooch them? Their body changes so that the human they've bonded with can easily ride them. That's so weird. How can they shrink their bodies so quickly? Well, it's just a theory, but creatures' bodies evolve to adapt their environments over many years, right? Supposedly, it's sort of a predisposition that allows them to adapt, or so they say. Okay, well, they, I guess they have an in-game reason. I want that! Can I have that? I want the snake. Alright, let's wrap things up here and head to the farm. Alright. I'm assuming we'll get freedom at some point. <laughs> early game stuff you can't expect too much freedom but the game seems pretty straightforward like use x to hit everything they're probably going to show me how to like access the farm now to like switch my partner character what are you doing kwans are said to express affection by charging at their partners but this little guy's too timid I was thinking we should also review the initiation of hearts. 
Since that has a lot to do with your work you'll be doing at the farm, why don't we call the farm's manager, Chloe? Uh, okay, a am I not wrong for assuming this is a waifu game? Don't. <laughs> They're all waifus with giant boobs. <laughs> That'd be me. Anything farm-related you want to talk to me about? <laughs> why do her boobs jiggle like that? <laughs> Do you know how, how to precisely what the heart refers to? Isn't it an individual's characteristics and abilities? You're a bright one. And the in initiation of hearts is how we teach hearts to monsters. Now let's try our hand at it. You're going to teach your Quan the heart of courage, making him fearless. Characters can grant their hearts to Momon through initiation to make them stronger. Okay, open menu. Breed. Initiation. Whoa, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, well, let me go back. I wanted to see some of the other stuff. Okay. Initiate. Select the heart slot to initiate, and the character will grant the heart. What's the difference between S? Okay. I'm so confused. Versus mounted courage? Okay. Random character heart will be initiated. Courage. The initiation of hearts have increased its attack. The effects of heart on Momon are quite significant, so don't forget to perform initiations of hearts. Okay. Let's switch to Quan with inherited hearts. Can you let me go back to breed? No. It says something about crossbreeding. Party setup. Chapter 3. There's a trick to it. Defeat the Bofi. Boffy? Bofi? Good to know. I still don't know what the S, A, and stuff means. There you go. <clears throat> if there's anything you're unsure about, just ask Chloe. Visit any time. Well then, why don't you increase your practice and sessions by going over the basics of battle? I don't really want to battle against monsters. We feel the same way, you know, but it's crucial for research. Okay. So you mean to say... the start Why is her nose bleeding? Stop! I'm, I'm done. Come on. Let's fight this thing. Eek a bofie. Let me give you some battle tips. You ready? Enemy weak points may appear during battle. Land skill uh, to lower their break gauge limit. All right. You oh, 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 there's combination attacks. What? Left bumper. Is a bumper the, the little one? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just used to R1 and, and, and L1. Okay, uh, okay. Break the target's uh, target by using skills to attack to reduce its break gauge to zero. Attacks landed on broken enemies will be critical, so try to deal some serious damage. Change your Omega Drive gauge by successfully landing skills. Oh, sorry, charge it. Once your gauge is full, activate your character's powerful Omega Drive. Okay. That was easy. Get wrecked. We destroyed his posture. Sekiro style. You can see your destination on the mini map. Thanks. <laughs> can I have the snake now? Ugh. 
<laughs> the game, the dialogue needs to stop. He's strong enough to cleave even the biggest trees in two. You know, she looks like a soul hacker's character. That's what she looks like. Collect their fecal matter? Yeah, it would. It would. Okay, so what's going on? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the dialogue's kinda sus. <laughs> oh, she joined the team. Battle Axe Lies. Lisa. I can just gonna call her Lisa. Oh, now I have some freedom. This is cool. What's up? Oh, she does this? Oh, I got I got him too now. All right, let's initiate him. I still don't Oh, what the heck? DB Okay, that's weird. DBCC. What 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 are the different Is it just the price that's going to be different? Tight mismatch. Interesting. Endurance uh axe beast. Endurance What's B? What's the... Is B just better? I don't understand. Okay, we're just gonna go B. Whatever. Let's do it. I don't know what the difference is between the slots. Okay. So what happens if we leave now? Okay, we can't. Okay, we need to accept the mission to leave. I thought we defeated Chapter 4. I guess not. Go easy on me. Defeat the Lazara. Alright, let's do it. The game hasn't even thrown its monetization systems at me yet. I'm curious when those pop up. I was thinking we'd give her pointers for fighting Momons. All right. And let's head over to Windbloom Plain. You can thank my upbringing for that. Maybe it's my genetics. Don't you call... You're mar be doing martial arts has nothing to do with genetics. What? I mean, I guess how good you're... I mean, could... But, like... Just because your parents did martial arts doesn't mean you're going to be better at it genetically. Linking your account allows you to play from multiple devices. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. I guess I could play on mobile since it's linked to Steam. Okay. Axe types are not phased by Minimon attacks. They're also known for their superior attack stats. Axe types have the hold skill guard. If you time it right, you can perform a perfect guard followed by a counterattack. Okay, and I can switch. Oh, cool. Alright, where's the Liz whatever? Let's beat him up. Shut up, fool. Yo, he's dull. I want him. Oh, I got him with the reflect attack, eh? 
I told you guys. This it's Dark Souls. I can I can parry. I didn't do it. I did it too too slow. Oh, I thought I blocked. Oh, I did. <laughs> You're dead. Goodbye, fool. You disgust me. Pairing success. I want him. I'm guessing this. these are like random and then the higher letter ones are better and it's just like... They're probably gonna have some sort of microtransaction system that, that like allows you to increase them. I don't know. Again, it's a free to play game from Japan, so I can only assume there's gonna be a bunch of, of microtransactions. <laughs> but so far, so good. Okay, like I said, the game's a little weird. The waifu aspect, which I'm assuming that's what it's going for is a little bit sus in my opinion like I, I i'm not trying to look at a bunch of freaking anime characters but um you know the gameplay is all right it looks really good so far so good <clears throat> the dialogue is a little bit weird what light that thing she's convinced she saw when she's little what, they believe her that she saw Volzerk, but not the light? If I gather all of those balls, I'll meet Volzerk again. Why is her face like that? Look, there's literally no male characters in this game. <laughs> I don't care that there's none. It's just funny. Like, I, I find it like... Oh, oh, there, oh there's one. There's one. The, the guy that was... Uh, driving me around i forgot about him i don't care that there's none i just find it funny like they're, they're they're not trying to hide the uh the demographic they're going after i guess you've gone over there all there is to know about battles correct yep <laughs> research commission work isn't all that easy you know if you run into problems it's fine to ask thanks lizzie you can also try scouting whenever uh, lizzie and i are too tied to help uh it lets you call other team members over to assist you Since you're here now, why don't you give it a try? Call someone over. I was just thinking that we could use another pair of hands anyway, so I'll cover the funds this time. This way you'll get to experience firsthand what scouting entails. Use the scouting to find a new ally. They're literally all female characters. <laughs> but they can initiate hearts for Momon as well. Okay. We're... we're Oh, it's not gonna let me leave. Okay, hold on. Let me do this first. We'll do this and then we're gonna call it the, call it an episode. Oh, there is a guy! <laughs> scouting allows you to, to acquire new characters. This time, try scouting a character. Yes! Yes! <laughs> the guy the guy has, like, no muscle. Come on, bro. I want to be jacked. I want a jacked guy. Wait, zero CAD? Oh, you gotta pay real money. This is where the microtransaction stuff comes in. What the heck is this? I don't want him. That's a lot of coins, bro. Monster Knight Latio is a character who specializes in nurturing. He can perform hearts initiation on any type of Moomon. Come back once you've learned the basics. Can I purchase someone cool? I don't want this Link looking mofo. Nice onesie, bro. 
Scouting new characters will increase your options for hearts initiation and, and uh, giving you new allies on quests. Okay, I want to see some of the prices. Paid, 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 paid. Okay, so here are the characters that you could buy with microtransactions. I want this guy! <laughs> Give me this guy, bro! Or this guy. This guy's thick. I'm about it. Hold on. Nah, get out of here, skinny boy. This guy's pretty cool. Jesus Christ, $11? It's the same guy, but with different clothes. Yo, this guy's dope. He looks like a freaking bleach villain. Oh, I get one character for free, guys. Oh, I can get him. Yes. Wait, do I want him or do I want freaking uh, Rukia's brother over here? Oh, Ogma. Okay, we're going to get Ogma. He's a spellcaster. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. I want the jacked guy. <laughs> Give her the muscles, bro. I need someone who lifts. Why is the guy with a wand the only one who lifts, though? Can, can someone explain that to me? Friggin' Sna Snape Sensei over here. Alright, <laughs> Snape Sensei over here is lifting, but no one else is. Hold on, I wanna... Oh, no, no, wrong menu, wrong menu. Party. Party setup. No, you can stay the leader. Yes! Bruh. And he rides on the flying Nimbus? Excuse me? You're the leader now, bro. This is the best game ever. <laughs> Yo, look at this guy. This guy's dope. Yeah, that's right. Stand over there, you peasants. All right, guys. I'm going to call the episode from here. Let me know if you want episode two with uh, Thick Boy Sensei over here. Thick Boy <laughs> Orange Haired Snape Sensei. All right. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like buying new characters is like the microtransaction thing in this game. I mean, honestly, like, it's a single-player game that's free to play. I don't see that as that bad yet. I I'm gonna have to look more into it, but I don't know. So far, the game seems pretty cool. Um, It's a little bit weird, but pretty cool so far. So if you want to see me continue, uh, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm more than interested to do so. Uh, and if you want to see guides and stuff, like, I can start learning more about the game's mechanics, and then we can go from there. So... Let me know all that stuff down below if you want to, uh, you know, stay up to date on this game or just daily monster taming content. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, special thanks to my patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro, Ghost, Dark Persona, and Exodus. And we'll see you next time. Peace.